my friends, let's uh, talk Angela, right? So I was trying to, to, to create a video that's not really long. I just can't do it. She is so freakishly like weird and so many things are going on that I I can't even just break her one video up into like very small segments. So I'm showing you right here what uh, I got coming down the pipeline. As you can see, this is going to be a complete analysis of Angela, her website, and I'm I'm going to try to plead my case here that she's got narcissistic personality disorder. Um, so I've gone through the website. Uh, I've, I've only gotten to the first two pages because, oh, it's hard to read. Um, I've listed the total number of photos of Angela on each section, the total videos, the number of stories from her life, the times she references that she's a doctor, which... Um, I have to add, she's not a doctor. Do you know why? She states she has a PhD in communications. Well, from an etiquette viewpoint, the only individuals that typically use the title doctor are those in like medical and science field and, and really only like eminent scientists, right? The degree in question is from an unrecognized university that's headquartered in a completely different country with ends is a suspected diploma mill. They opened in 1994 and they only offered one single program, expressive arts therapy quotes end quotes. They also don't have a doctoral program in communications or any program in communications. The uh, degree in communications isn't even suited for what she's trying to pitch anyway, because that's the thing that, uh, it's better suited for journalism, politics, performing arts, business, uh, several more things, but nothing, nothing, uh, the publishing, you know, where that fits. Look at that. Lost pride reestablished with extravagant claims and fantasies. Actually, and I'll tell you the truth. Book publishers typically have degrees that, you know, help them publishing, uh, literary history, theoretical ideas, cultural perspectives, you know, somebody would have a degree in English with a concentration in creative writing or a degree in writing with a concentration in publishing. You know, both those degrees give you the entire range that, that one of these people would need uh, to actually do their job. We're talking English grammar, playwriting, poetry, cultural literature, book and technical editing, illustration, design, production, intellectual property and copyright law and so forth, right? Follow me? Yeah, it's, uh, it's this is just insane. I've been finding discrepancy after discrepancy. Um, it's crazy. I'm not even two pages in. And uh, I'm just finding all this stuff where she's... It's either lies, uh, there's disparate statements in play, or her favorite thing, declarations without citations. So that's her one thing. It's uh, one of those fixated on fantasies of power and her self-perception of being unique, superior, and associated with the blah, blah, blah. Yep. And uh, when we go through this video and she says you are going to pay her $15,000 to publish your, her, your book, uh, you'll see how that's kind of pompous and arrogant. Um, it's just crazy. Uh, I, I really just want to, I, 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 even her life coaching stuff. She, she talks about a, a certification as a publishing coach from IICS. They don't even have a publishing coach. That's not a possibility. And then you go through their price list for the coaching programs they do have. It's anywhere for $3,500 for like a 10 and a half hour web course, all the way to over 30 grand to like, Go to one of several actually uh, universities around the country and actually have this intensive, long, uh, hands-on. It's just crazy. Like, <laughs> the only truth in this thing is, uh, after she lists her credentials, she says, "Honestly, I think that's all bullshit." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, uh, it's pretty true." Um, but yeah, 
I pause it to the folks here, and I'm going to back it up with a lot of evidence that she has narcissistic personality disorder, and not only that, because of the additional stuff, she is the, the archetype of a, the fanatic narcissist. That they're the paranoid delusional ones. She is delusional. And I'll be completely honest. Angela learned how to do this racket from her little life coaching. She didn't come up with this fucking Ponzi scheme. Um, oh, speaking of, uh, life coaching Ponzi scheme in Colorado, uh, class action lawsuit, those people pulled in 8 to $20 million from people. That's crazy. Um, I got an awesome story about the time I met Angela's uh, life coach when she uh, rolled on in <laughs> to town. Um, anyway. There is so much bullshit that people need to get together and sue this woman. Like, seriously. She has just done nothing to, but lie. So, yeah. She's a narcissist with delusions. And one of the reasons it works is because she's so delusional. She actually thinks the stuff that she's trying to do is helping. And it's not her fault. She's just, her brain's broken. But um, she's making a killing out there over nothing, you know, um, and, and with easily refuted statements and stuff like she said her dissertation for her PhD was about uh, social change and media, something like that. And that was way back in 2005. That was before Twitter. Uh, that was before Facebook, that was before Quora, Reddit, uh, Medium, that was before any you know, of these big social sites, and a dissertation isn't just a random paper. Uh, for a doctoral student, that's pretty much their entire life for the years they're in school. I'm pretty sure um, Angela didn't have any doctoral dissertation mainly because her European graduate school, uh, yeah, she went there for a couple weeks in the summer and paid a shit ton of money to listen to some people talk. And then apparently comes back with a degree that they don't have. Um, well, yeah, it was, it's, it's, the other stuff I've talked about uh, still applies. She uh, states that uh, they own that author castle, though all property records don't show that. Um you can see that she actually did get the trademarks for all the crap that she put trademarks on, even though she talks about the difference process and uh, she capitalizes difference process. Well, the trademark is actually for the phrase, the difference process. And not only that, it's a non-exclusivity right to that, which means she's not the only person that has that. It's got multiple registrants and it was in 2016. But... She says she's been helping people since 2013, except she started in 2014. And then she had 10 years of industry experience. And then literally not even two paragraphs later, now she's got over 20 years experience. It's crazy. Anyway, um, so what's, what happens with her is once you fill out that apply, like especially once I saw the similarity between this and the life coaching schemes, the apply, it, nobody cares about it. It really, it doesn't matter. Um, you can put whatever you want in there and you get added and called because we've tested this, right? So some kid is going to call you with some kind of script that he's going to read off of. That script serves two purposes. One it's going to uh, subconsciously probe your mind to say, hey, can you come up with money, like a big chunk of change, and give it to me? Because that's what I'm going to be asking pretty soon. And then two, it, uh, it's just full of all these appeal to... Uh, the, the, it's psychological terms, it's called the appeal to... Um, they're like logical fallacies. So it's like appeal to... Your wisdom appeal to uh, your morality, that kind of stuff. There's uh, five, six of them, I think. And yeah, it, it, it'll go and try to touch upon all that. And they've got a script, 
and its branches based on what you say in return is a it's, it has nothing to do with you as a person it's literally how likely is this person easily manipulated and influenced by me and how likely will this person give me money and then if you pass that test you should feel bad but that's okay she sends you Anyway, so you are now becoming one of the few elite, right? She chose you out of this huge batch, right? She's got this artificial, oh, we only take this many people. Um, another discrepancy mind. Uh, she's helped over 250 authors. She's only published 246 books, except she also states she's published over 400 books. I don't know what's right, except for what Kindle shows me. So anyway, she sends you to this webpage on her site, uh, preparing for your interview before you actually get to talk to her so apparently right now you're in this elite tiny little group of people and she doesn't even take the time out of her lazy day eating bonbons to uh as so much write an email to you she sends you to a link that you can't find anywhere else but that link and it brings you to this video which i've downloaded and uh I also have to say it's really weird too if you go through go through the website because like this is how much I've been doing it. Go through her website, go through the authorincubator.com. You can tell exactly when she had a bunch of pictures taken at her that author castle in Virginia. They're all like heavily, heavily edited. Like contrast is just jacked up and. Uh, her hair looks nice and smooth, and she doesn't have that weird bulbous nose or those big old, you know, bags under her eyes. You know, this is, why would you do that? It's like, it doesn't make sense. Why would you have a bunch of photos of you heavily edited to be thinner and more, quote-unquote, perfect? And then on that same page, there is a video of you with your big bulbous nose, and you're, like your bookshelves right there. I mean, that's another bullshit psychological ploy that I hate people doing. You're supposed to think she's smart because of all this. Get out of here. Those are all self-help books, and <laughs> I don't really want to talk to people that listen and read nothing but self-help. So, anyway, it's 24 minutes in length. I'm probably not going to go for that whole length, uh, whole time. I'll have an annotation that says right where she talks about the money or where I get to talk about the money. And then I'll, hopefully I can wrap this up and then uh, I'll begin again on the rest of the website. So let's see. Hey there, it's Dr. Angela. Oh, what are we? Three seconds in, first lie. Dr. Angela. Once again, the degree that she states she has does not exist at that university that university is not accredited it's not even recognized as a university by the swiss council because it, and it's in switzerland um they have no communications degree uh, they actually really have uh, foo-foo sounding things and uh, she claims she has a dissertation dissertations are peer-reviewed papers I went through all the clearing houses and any dissertations would have been through for the last 30 years. Nothing. So we're already there. Here, hopefully you know that by now. I just got word from my talent scout that Talent scout is a term I hate. First off, she doesn't give a fuck if you have talent. She pretends and the website reads occasionally that she's some elitist. But she has books about how to choose the proper AI as a CEO right next to how to deal with Crohn's. And then right after that, you've got all these, uh, I survived a suicide or whatever it is. It's, it's all over the place. She doesn't care. Occam's razor applies in this, right? The most logical solution is probably the correct one. And that is, this uh, bushy eyebrowed bitch is stealing money from people. Your application has been accepted for an interview. Oh my god, and you should feel bad. You should feel really bad, unless you're me and you're trying to screw with the system. If you got to this point, 
you need to evaluate things. Unless she's changed it or it's, it doesn't even care anymore, I don't know. Um, I would love to hear any recordings that you guys have with her or Talent Scouts. I'm paying a uh, little, little bit uh, if you'd like it. So feel free to contact me and let's do that. So I'm super excited for you. Only about 20% of applications actually make their way to my desk at this point. And I'm her really excited day. to have the opportunity to review your application. Yeah, so excited she couldn't uh, say The research person, packet or, or, that our talent scout email. put together for me. And of a research packet? Oh my God. So whatever you put uh, down in the doobly-doo when you were filling out the apply. Of course, the answers that you shared with your interviewer that actually got you here. So great job. But that's an appeal to your, uh, I can't remember. It's an, uh, it's a partial, uh, raw, raw kind of thing. It's, it's meant to make you feel good that you're here already. That's a, it's a psychological sculpting or, uh, prepping right now. And, and you'll notice as we jump through this, it's at 42 seconds. <clears throat> the money talk is is like at 16 seconds <clears throat> and then the lead up to it is all about why this is such a great thing and the after it it's all about why it's such a great thing and you're an idiot if you don't pay before you go into your interview there are really three or four important things i want to go over with you and this is going to take about a half an hour but i want you to watch all the way to the end because mm -mm. this information is critical that you have before the interview. Do you see her eyes? They're, they're kind of beady, right? Watch them. Watch how she moves her face and, and the expressions that she takes. They're all calculated. She doesn't even understand she's doing it, but they are. It's, it's, it's almost like scary when I look at it. It's, it's so textbook. You. I wish I could be on the interview with you, but no, she doesn't. I had to make the hard decision to focus my time on the authors who are already in. They're 100% committed to their book. Oh, hey, um, let me pause. Let me show you what she does. Uh, do I have that window up? Like I said, this is kind of a stream of conscious thing I'm doing here. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's uh, pretty... Pretty easy. Uh, I know I have that window up here somewhere. Let me find it. Uh, you'll know what it is exactly what I'm talking about. Actually, I'll just search for it. Uh, Kindle Desktop. Oh, I, you need to spell things right, guys. Kindle Desktop Publishing. All right, here we go. I'm Amazon. Or not Amazon. I'm Angela Loria. I have multiple stories that I tell about myself and they contradict each other on my own website. And by the way, I know I'm talking all about you and your book and how I'm going to make you money, but here's pictures of me. So here, she logs into this and she goes, well, let's create a new ebook. <laughs> yep, that's me. So this is what she does. She puts in a title, which by the way, one second. <clears throat> that title is, they're all insane run on sentences. Blah, 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 right? Maybe there's a subtitle, blah, blah, blah. If there's a series, you put a series. If it's an edition, you put an edition. If there's, you know, an author, you put Lying Angela Loria and her two ton life coach. And then you can put contribution in the description. I love to spend your money. Um, yeah, she'll, she'll do this. I own the copyright because you're going to sign away your copyright and then you can put keywords. You select categories. This is this is what she does. She sets categories of, of what's the least published to category for whatever your book would apply to. Um, and there's some of these that go pretty deep. Like, if I uh, pick the book that's like Scandinavian, European, right? 
maybe there's three books published there a week. So yeah, when she does her little powwow and everybody buys each other's books and then she says, oh, the number one, number one best-selling books. Again, Occam's Razor applies. If she has 450 plus best-selling books uh, with over 250 plus authors somehow, uh, with only a proof of 246, God, this really doesn't add up, does it? Um, that's not possible. Not even actual publishing houses do that, right? Uh, let's let's make, let's set, set that category. We'll do save, and then uh, we have to select age range. So I'll say uh, four to 18 plus. Yeah, I mean you don't really have to do it, but you could 10th grade, you can do 12th grade. I'm ready to release my book now. This is what she does, or she does this one, then she saves and continues. This is honestly what she does. No digital rights management. Um, somebody, she pays 50 bucks to do the cover. And then uh, none of this does. And then here's the different thing. She buys bulk ISBN numbers. Uh, I, I think it's like two dozen for 400 bucks. That's probably the most money she spends on you and the most time she spends on you by going to that website. And then it's you, you click next. I, I can't do it because I don't think I uh, filled stuff out. Oh, yeah, it's going to make me. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that's the other thing. Then there's a, a doc file, a docx. And what is <laughs> she gets at usually the last minute from these people just some of the most bat shit insane written books and um i personally had to sit and rewrite those books so they actually made sense <laughs> i don't know about you but if i was an author and i wrote a book and published a book and then somebody completely rewrote it to make it make it make sense then yeah I wouldn't be happy with that, but you see where it is. So then she clicks on here, and uploads the book and pricing clicks done. There you go. That's her big release, except she just schedules them all to be released at one time. Mm, that's a lot of time she spends. They're enrolled in the program and I really think they deserve my full attention. There's no, only so much of me to go none around of your attention. and it didn't feel right to split my time between people who are hundred percent committed and people who just weren't yet. She is already uh, doing an appeal to exclusivity and a, an appeal to the commitments. She's like, oh, wow. You know, I'm only going to focus with people who are really ready. Um, uh, as a narcissist, that's also her appeal to sound like, you know, she's a big deal and is grandiose and an important person, hangs out with other important people, right? I mean, we're we're not even two minutes into this and it just makes me sick. So here's the good news. When you're in the program, you can be assured you will work directly with me live, not just on a video like this one. No. And you will have all of my attention. Uh you'll pay additional to work live with her and when she says you'll work live with her that means she's going to take uh, about ten thousand of you guys collective money and then um you know work on that whole fake i own this 30 million dollar castle in mclean virginia mm -hmm. so there's that so you'll even pay more for that so good luck and, and i won't be splitting my focus with except with you and the eight other or nine other people that are going to be at these little retreats. The hundreds of applicants that we receive to be a part of the program every week. That's not true. Actually, she almost always scratches the bottom of the barrel to get by uh, with those nine or ten that she announces. And that's why she takes so long to release them because she gets $15,000 from those people. So she gets 150000 bucks every time she does her thing. Well, logically if she could do it more why wouldn't she because she does nothing i mean i was her friend for so many years i've been at her house for like a week solid just hanging out with her and i think she was on one web conference that was her day 
That was her week. Yeah, you're a busy woman. So in order to be accepted, one of the rules is that you have to watch this video. And believe me, there will be a test. Your interview is going to quiz you. So watch it now. And what we're going to cover is really critical for you to know. Every time her eyes get larger than normal as she is speaking, um, she's actually pretty much lying. It's just a thing with the and people with NPD, like the way their facial expressions work, they, they have a lot of tells, but you're not attuned to that. You only hear it. Now, as somebody that, that you know, this has been trained for self, this is all self stuff I did, but I mean, come on, I, I got issues, everybody's got issues. I've been really, really, really deep into psychology for a really long time. And so these kind of these abnormal psychology types that are kind of normal nowadays, um, yeah, they're cut and dry to somebody that's uh, read a couple of things about them. No. First of all, right now you might be wondering at this point, is this a good investment? A good investment of your time? How will you get your money? Again, she uses the term investment, like, oh, you invest in a stock, and then the stock goes up, and then you get a dividend, and you get money. You invest time, and you make money. Money back, and, like, the truth is, you may not. But The truth is, you won't. Um, a little bit, she'll talk about from five to $30,000 the first month, and then a little bit later, it'll be, like, ten to 54000 and then um, Kindle Spy says her own book has sold like two in the last 274 days. And there are some of the books that I'm tracking that are zero sold on over 200 days of tracking. I mean, come on, you got to feel bad. But she spins that. It's not even about the book. What I can tell you is 100% of the people who do 100% of the work get 100% of the results 100% of the time. That is nothing. What does that mean? She's saying what? She's implying, and you're going to take it in your head because she just preceded it with a negative of some people don't get anything. And then she leads in with 100% of the people, blah, blah, blah. That's just manipulating you right there. She, she's making you think she's saying if you bust your ass, you'll, you'll make bank. That's not what she's saying at all. She's saying 100% of the people will get 100% of the thump and 100%. Of, it's like it just it's a nonsense statement. And that's why it's so important for us to understand your goal, your level of commitment, and all of that before we go forward. Yeah, okay, so it's just kind of like prepping bullshit to get her to segue into the money that happens around let's see right around here i believe program is about how to do that if you knew how to do that please do not oh yeah watch yep yep i went a little bit too far level to reaching more people with their message a commitment to making an impact do you see the eyes she was a commitment to making an impact this has nothing to do with your book she doesn't care about your book this is about a, some movement or some impact or some community. You thought you wanted to do a book, but no, you apparently wanted to create a movement. Some people don't. Some people just want to, you know, write a book. To leaving a legacy. A legacy. A legacy. Uh, I encourage you to go to Amazon.com. Go to the Kindle ebook store. Go to the advanced search. Go down to publisher and type in Difference Press read those topics you know, just it's like yeah you want to be a legacy whoops you want a legacy like that um you know proverbs thirteen twenty says he that walketh with wise men shall be wise matt shall be wise um, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed and here's your companion of fools or uh you know aesop said a man is judged by the company he keeps. There's the company you'd be keeping. You'd be associated with this and Difference Press. It is actually going to hurt you 
as an author or especially if if you're trying to do something uh, related to health or any real science stuff she has published some blatantly harmful things that I have told her explicitly how this particular section of the book would harm people that would read it but she doesn't care I come to find out nobody actually reads this crap anyway but uh, hey you're gonna pay money for it that is what you need the program is about how to do that if you knew how to do that please do not buy for me the program is about how to find the time. The program is about how to be ready. The program is about how to generate the revenue to fund your movement. Because you know who makes a difference? People who can fund their movement. That's not true at all. Right now, there's been a guy that kind of organized a, a protest in front of the White House every single day. And every night, there's been a different kind of artist there just to try to annoy Trump. But she's about to segue into some of the craziest shit. Like, you just have to listen to all the types of things that the people that have written books with her have been going through at the time. We'll talk back later. So if you have all these things figured out, you should not join this program. If you already have all those things, you don't need us. I can tell you when people say to me, oh, there's not enough time. It's a really busy time. I'm moving, whatever. Like, look, you need to know there are people in our Here program who have had a baby during the nine weeks of writing uh, their book in this no program. No citation. We have had people fall in love, which takes up a lot of time. M makes no we sense. Had, uh, one author had two weddings for two of her kids and her third child graduated, I think from high school. Okay, now We've you're getting We've had people insane. going through cancer treatments. We've uh, had people pass kidney we're stones. We're way out we there now. We have had uh, one of our authors was a military spouse. She had a surprise international move. Actually, hang on, pause. There is literally uh, let me show you something, uh, if I can pull it up. Let's her see. kids and her third child graduated, I right think, here. from high school. See that winking? That's We've the had thing. people going through cancer treatments. Watch the eyes. We've had people pass kidney stones. We have had uh, one up of our the right. authors was a people military that spouse. Look she up had a surprise right international move. Are basically there is lying literally because nothing you look up that has right. not gone on during this per You look up and away when you're attempting to um, create or uh, something like a story or recall a story that you wrote down. Um, because if you're trying to recollect a, an actual event, you look where a person would normally sit. So people tend to look down if uh, they're recollecting something. They look up when they're creating something. Program, and we had somebody have a stroke and keep writing, okay? So there is no time in the future when you're going to be less busy. Look. Did you hear that? Uh, you know, um, the military is really, really, really renowned and, and just known for their terrible planning and logistics. And uh, I can't tell you the number of times that uh, women have just had a surprise move. Uh, no, that's, that's almost never happens. When would that happen? And, and somebody with a stroke? <laughs> This is all more declaration without citations. If you get on those live chats with her, you need to you know, share this video and be like, hey, where are your citations about any of this? Oh, Barack Obama wrote a book while he was senator and he had two toddlers. So there's just no day in the future where you're going to have more time. Honestly, I don't know why she said any of this stuff. Like, this is supposed to be a video for you. And so far, really, all she's done is tell you about all the people that have really uh, just had horrible things happen to them and still overcame to um, not actually get any revenue from a book. It's just, she's just so fake. You can see it when you walk through the video and it, somebody points it out to you. But just, you're in for a real good treat. Now is the time to do that, to do this. The thing that's missing is not time. It's the right mentorship. 
the right system, the right plan, the right team, and the right structure. Exactly the exact same phrasing and uh, concepts that life coach training does. So this is basically how she got suckered to spend money. And now she's using it to sucker you. And you're not going to figure that out on your own if you haven't figured it out already. Use her or you're stupid is what she's saying. But there's no day you're going to be less busy. If you want to make a difference, that's exactly why you need to commit to it and not keep waiting for some day in the future. You know what? That's not true at all. You want to make a difference? Uh, how about this? Postal carriers have never had AC in their vehicles. It's heading towards the end of July right now. You want to make a difference in somebody's life? Do this. Get a bottle of water. Freeze it. And then in the morning, you put it in your mailbox, put the flag up. Your mail carrier will love you. Um, you want to make a difference? How about uh, the next time a car cuts you off, you don't yell at them or flip out. You just assume that they were in a hurry and they had a legitimate reason. They just didn't see you. Be positive. If you're positive, you'll cause positive things to happen. Uh, I like to say positive thoughts lead to positive actions, lead to positive results, whereas the exact opposite is true. Like, it's just amazing. You, you might say something to some guy at a store who's in, in a horrible mood or a joke or whatever, and he'll just crack up and laugh, and some of that stress will go away, and you never know what might have happened had you not interfered and made him laugh. It's very possible that guy could have just gone to shoot up a school or killed his wife or beat people up, and you ended that. You, If you're positive in general, I, I guarantee you've ended some negativity that would have occurred had you not been in a path. Why can't you be happy with that? Why can't you just be happy and have a, a quote-unquote legacy of just being a nice, decent person, not an amoral crackpot? When everything is fixed. And I want to talk about money, too, because mm -hmm. it's easy to think you don't have the money, you're going to do all this work, and then you're going to get the money. But the truth is you do have money for what's important to you. We've had three homeless yeah, people yeah, here in the program, three homeless people that managed to scrounge together the funds to participate in this program. And I will tell you, those are among our most successful clients. Uh, spoiler alert, the amount that those homeless people seemed to scrounge up was $15,000. I, uh, I was homeless myself for a couple of times when I was in my youth and, um, at St. Paul, Minnesota, there's a place called the Dorothy Day Center. I used to volunteer there constantly. It was just a homeless center. And uh, I don't think I uh, ran into anybody that could have uh, scrounged around for 15 grand. Homeless people typically don't have good credit. And even when homeless people end up homeless due to circumstance, they stay homeless due to um, more of life choices that were made to alleviate pain that, that you know, snowball rolls downhill. So, yeah. Um, and this is probably right here, this face that you're looking at, that's probably as close to a stroke as those people uh, that still write a book <laughs> had. Now, we've also had a handful of people with, like, a large family trust fund that I know 110% has not happened. Nobody that had a large amount of money that didn't need to figure it out actually uh, uses her because anybody that can make a good deal of money or keep it around is smart enough to understand that she is full of shit. Um, it's just, it's just common sense. Like it's, yeah, don't, pay to publish publishers might not publish your book if they don't it's because your book sucks you always can self-publish like she just will or you know look at charles bukowski that cat from the age of 17 weekly was sending in stories poems what have you to publishers and to magazines and he was 
eating one candy bar a day as a meal to save money. He was writing to these publishers on a, a ripped open cigarette pack. That's how he did it. It's not giving some jackass money that you have to figure out how to get. And they're more than happy to tell you how. I mean, you check out my website and some people talk about it. Uh, they recommend personal loans and she'll say, oh, what about 401k? Uh, do you have any property you can sell? Like they, yeah, they won't help you do shit to write your book, but they will give you an exhaustive list of ways that you could get money that you probably shouldn't do. But those authors, it's actually taken them longer to succeed, sometimes five to 10 times to achieve the exact same goals as the homeless people in our program and people with chronic illness and people with newborns, all of it. Now, what I've seen from people who have the hunger and that need to make a difference, the need to fund their movement, is that they're not sitting on millions of dollars in bank accounts, but they can generate 10 to 20, even 50,000, in one case, $54,000 in the first 30 days of this program. Because she has no records of anybody ever making any money from any of this stuff. She has uh, some video, well, a ton of videos with people that were in her program. Um, a new thing that she's finally put on her website at the bottom is an FTC disclosure, which is not the way to do it. Uh, it's basically the right, right to advertise the, you know, like you have the right to know if she's shilling for you, right? And so she thinks that it's acceptable to put this generic disclaimer at the bottom, basically where she's like, uh, all the money and stuff that I state are assumed to be correct, but she doesn't verify. Do your own due diligence. You can't do due diligence on things that are just not given any proof to verify, right? It's completely illegal the way she's doing it too. This video, every single video she posts should have a disclaimer saying uh, this is a paid represent representative or a, a paid actor, or paid whatever. Um, this is uh, an attempt to solicit money. Th that's what this should all say. She's not doing it. Why? If she doesn't do it, it's not because she doesn't like to brag. It's because uh, she wants to downplay stuff. Because they have something that my friend and mentor Damon John calls the power of broke. Damon John is a big name. Guarantee they're not friends nor mentors. She's probably got pictures with them. Once again, let me go back to that uh, thing about uh, what she has. What do they do? Self-perception of being unique, superior, and associated with high-status people and institutions. So, uh, B-list uh, coaches, uh, a university that actually doesn't have the degree that she has, and she calls herself a uh, thing that she shouldn't call herself even if she had it, but she doesn't. Guys, wake up. Seriously. There's no free lunch. You're going to give her your money and uh, you're going to have results like eh, this. You're going to, this is going to be a result. You're going to give her 15 grand and over uh, 270 days, you're going to have a book that uh, brought in an estimated revenue of 56 bucks. And uh, all that stuff that you sign right before you give her the check is steeped in disclaimers and uh, things that won't allow you to sue or right to arbitration and stuff like that. I'm telling you right now, if you're going to spend the money, fine. But understand that all that crap that she makes you sign is not legally binding. She can't act illegal and then have you sign something that says you won't sue her for being shady. It's just not a thing. It's, I'm just waiting. The, the shoe is dropping, my friends. I, I think because uh, 24 is the magic number I was told that was being shot for.
that's uh, over three hundred thousand uh dollars. Oh. So if you are feeling great book, by the way, if you are feeling like there's some day in the future where you're going to have money, that is exactly what that this program teaches you to do. This program teaches you how to generate ten to thirty thousand dollars a month, starting with day one. Within thirty days, you can be making ten to thirty thousand dollars. No, no, you can't. Nobody has. Nobody will. She has no facts. She has no hard copy. She has no figures. She has nothing. But hey, she will give some of those people that she ripped off some of their money back to lie and say she didn't rip them off. And your book doesn't get easier to market after it's written. I know it's crazy, but just think of the last book that you read before you bought it. Did you read it? Uh, uh, oh, I don't know. There's libraries. There's you know the free Google books. There's free audio books. Uh, there's borrowing a book from a friend. There's geez, yeah. There's tons of ways I gave free book. Um, not to mention the fact that she said a book doesn't get easier to market after. Like what? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Guess what? You hype up a book if it's great. People tell everybody. And then um, it makes even more money. Yeah. Or did you read it after you bought it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Exactly. Ah, you see, I'm we stupid. We take your book concept from day one and start generating revenue right from the beginning. And if you already know how to do that, if you already know how to make ten to thirty thousand dollars a month from your book, or just in general, it was five to fifty-four, just less than five minutes ago. Now it's ten to thirty. And I do know a way for you to immediately make $15,000 within the first 30 days. Don't give this batshit blonde any of your money. You probably don't need me and this program. You don't need her but anyway. If you're thinking, oh, I'm going to make money and then I'm going to come back to the program, there is no point. Because that's what this program is. It's how to make money from a book. The book is a byproduct. This is a program about writing a book. So you thought your book was the reason you applied. Um, all the text that was around the pictures of her and her quoting herself on her website where it says it's supposed to help you, weirdly. Um, all that's about you writing a book. But right now, that's a byproduct? What the? How pissed would you be? <laughs> I'm here to write a book. What You're teaching me how to write a clown car? Like, that doesn't make sense. That you use to fund and grow your movement, your message, and the difference that you want to make on this planet. Okay? So don't come back to us later and say I have the money now. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Okay, so what's the cost of the program? I should have said that earlier. Well, it's priced to make sure that you're going to generate that ten to thirty thousand dollars a month. This doesn't make sense. You're going to have a manuscript. You're going to have clients. You're going to have speaking opportunities, all strategically designed to get you about a quarter of a million dollars from your book in the first twelve to eighteen months. Bam! Right there. People need to take it to court for this. It has yet to happen. They, writers just don't generally make a quarter million dollars at all. And for two, do you have a movement that you want? I mean, do you have speaking things that you want to do? Like, maybe you just like writing a book, man. Maybe you just have a story to tell. Oh, she'll still take you. S somehow you, you'll, you want to make a movement. No, you don't. Movements are very fleeting and rare. And... As soon as a movement has any traction, it gets destroyed by the ignorance. Uh, point in case, Angela, the Pied Piper of publishing perjury, has a hashtag Black Lives Matter at the bottom of her webpage, right? Now, if you go through her blog, she uh, happily announces, oh, our first scholarship and it's to a black guy and uh, you know that also says hashtag black lives now 
it's so offensive to me because to me it looks like she's saying look at us we're so like open and uh, good and not racist that we got ourselves a black man you don't that's not how you judge people you don't you don't you don't post the good you do you just do good and hopefully that flows out right i mean all the books she has for the most part are just fucking foo foo bullshit feel good like pseudoscience stuff and here i am i'm saying hey chi i don't know universal intelligence whatever you want i'm saying it'd be good and good things happen to you she is rich because of you she is stealing your money she doesn't care about you she wants you to cash in your 401k she wants you to raid your child's college fund she wants you to get a high interest loan from a bank she wants you to get a second mortgage on the house she wants you to do whatever it takes to give her money this person is pure unadulterated evil and lies and it looks it right there you can't even go through her website and get a straight answer about anything she's been doing this 10 years uh, oh she's been doing this over 20 years weird man because if you look at her resume and such uh, it looks like she's really just been in IT until a few years back uh, doing relational database stuff not this stuff um, she pays a, I can't remember how much it was just a ridiculous amount of money to her life coach who is is um she's a big girl she oh she's huge right like this woman the only thing bigger than this woman's body like it was just like violet from uh you know charlie and chocolate factory after she ate the the candy that's how she's just this round like that right i assumed that uh, uh a life coach <laughs> you know if you're gonna try to coach somebody else wouldn't it uh, make sense that you could at least control your own affairs like the core uh, concept of people that are good entrepreneurs and make money is is the ones that really make out like bandits they have the ability to delay gratification well there wasn't any fork that her life coach didn't like and the only thing bigger than her body was her belligerent attitude her boisterous mouth her accusatory tone like i was sitting in her angela's house painting for her because i mean i was unemployed I, I was doing a job here for her and uh, which by the way she didn't pay and i had to beg for 20 bucks just to get home oh, yeah so there's a personal anecdote but yeah this uh this woman uh came around in her hover round scooter i guess because she was bored uh, i didn't even realize it could go upstairs and just kind of proceeded to tell me about my life and, and who I am. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I got a little heated. And I never get upset. Uh, but yeah, I I was getting a little heated because somebody is trying to tell me about me. And I, I, I uh, saw you five minutes before I met you. And um, that was only like a half hour ago. Get out of here. You don't know me. And that's another thing. They're all like this. Not narcissistic, grandiose people. Uh, Angela is narcissistic to a, a huge degree. So, of course, her life coach would be even more narcissistic, even more belligerent, even more shallow. And I'm, like I said, I'm giving you personal anecdotes. I've seen this crap. I was this woman's friend for years. And it wasn't until really I understood what she was selling that I really couldn't be her friend anymore. Uh, I I left. I used to work at Microsoft, and that was a cakewalk job. Huge amounts of money, great big bonuses, but I, I quit. You know why? Because I worked on the consulting services team side, and um, I was doing things at customer sites that uh, they I feel morally they should have been provided. To, on the premier field engineer side, you know, 
it's already cooked into the price of their support. Instead, they were getting it through us on my side, paying $22,500, the most that a team charged out, out there for the same thing. I just didn't morally feel right. So it couldn't continue. This woman encourages you to put yourself in debt to make that, uh, remember, 56 cent uh, estimated revenue, in, or 56 bucks estimated revenue last 270 days. That shit-eyed woman wants nothing but your money, and then she doesn't care about you. Look back on this stuff. Like, go to the websites for Harper Collins. Go to you know, Scholastic. Go to Penguin Books. Go to Random. And right when you go to the page, they're talking about the books that they have. They're talking about their authors. They're talking about events. Go to the authorincubator.com. You have a picture of her with an oddly smaller nose and uh, less blotchy skin and uh, not those great big scraggly eyebrows of a completely different shade than the hair and yeah like it's just like almost like uh, a lie like a lie right like uh, Joan Collins said ah, they call it a wonder bra because uh, you take it off and they wonder where your tits went uh, that's kind of what they would have been like with the her like if she had that, the front page photo is the uh, photo on a dating website and then I met this woman I'd be like hey uh, where's your younger sister she's willing to blatantly touch herself up and lie to you guys there like the book will be published you mm -hmm. will have all the business strategy you need a marketing plan and I'm really to be honest only looking for candidates who want to generate somewhere between hundred and fifty and three hundred and fifty thousand dollars from their book over the next year the best part about that is when she says that she kind of crinkles her eyes which means she's like as if she were on the spot kind of just thinking of a range it's not true at all this is all calculated to manipulate you oh hey what are you doing now are you making less than 150 grand well uh, would you like to make more? Well, yeah, probably. Um, but she gives this nice range in there because yeah, she's in the D.C. area. One hundred and fifty thousand a year is, you know, it's not a whole lot of money in D.C. Uh, why do you think she turned to whoring herself out and uh, basically destroying people's lives ten at a time so she can pretend to have a big fancy life when? She's got amazing books like Steal the Show and uh, TED Talks and Sidonia and, oh my God, the Druids. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all, these are, none of these books are books about, I don't know, publishing or even marketing or uh, even grammar. And uh, you'll see that on the website, too, by the way. You'll see that there'll be like that block symbol everywhere. That's because Angela doesn't even really know how to use uh, Microsoft Word. I even built her a template, but still no. If you would like a set of templates uh, on what writers would get when they're published, like uh, you go go to, go to the author incubator scam.com, and I, I, in there, I, I actually uh, took one of the ones that I was given, and I stripped out all the detail stuff and I zipped it up and gave it to you. There you go. It's free. And um, it's a consistent thing and, and it, it goes into detail on writing. It's meant for you to actually adopt to your style, but it, it has uh, templates that you would use in Word. Um, so you had a consistent way of writing paragraphs and indents would stay the same. Fonts would stay the same kerning all that stuff would stay the same then there'd be a, a different document with the template for your biography there's like a guideline there's how like when somebody wants you to publish a book they send you this kit it's an authoring kit and it'll have stuff like how we prefer you to say certain things why because publishers 
are putting the reputation on the line. Not it's not so much the money because they'll give you like three grand, fifteen grand, whatever it is as uh, an advance. It's their reputation. You know, Penguin, uh, Random House, Bantam Books. I mean, they're all known for publishing specific types of books or genres. And if you are of a genre that one of them caters to and you get your book published with them, that looks really good for you. That looks really, really good. That's a real accomplishment because instead of this person who looks at you like an ATM, you have a company who had like a good number of people actually look at what you wrote and said, yeah, we like this. We really like this book and we want to publish it. Not only that, when it's with Angela, what happens is um, you send her your manuscript. She has some guy that uh, formats it, but he really doesn't. Then she uploads it and that's about it. I've never seen her pass out this marketing crap. Uh, no, that's when you pay extra to go to her little retreats. That's when uh, you'll see some of that stuff. But yeah, that's extra. This woman needs to just get shut down. Angela Deloria, you are without a doubt one of the worst people I've ever met in my life. And I've met some scummy mofos. You're married to a guy who immediately was on Tinder. You lie explicitly and implicitly. Um... You don't have any degree that you can call yourself a doctor. You still repeatedly call yourself a doctor. You're so narcissistic. You're so shallow that you have to immediately let people know you're a doctor. No, you're not. You're not a doctor. Kiddo, I know you think you are, but you're not. Uh, let's go back to another thing that uh, talks about her. And I've shown this to her too. Delusion, a mistaken belief that is held with strong conviction even in the presence of superior evidence to the contrary. I'm trying to give you guys superior evidence to the contrary. She will not help you. She will take your money. She will infect you with the narcissistic disease so you don't even know if you're coming or going because you know right down there it says exploitative right that's what's going to happen her whole website the, the when you go to the website and uh, all of the content above the fold um that's like that's actually publishing talk she wouldn't know what it is but that's publishing talk for like newspapers above the fold would be like when the newspaper was folded it would be the stuff people would see on top it's still used in websites. It's what you see when you first go there. And what you see when you first go there is her heavily edited picture. I I beg you to not, not feed her anymore. Um, do whatever you want. This, this person, like this is not a website of a person that cares about you or your life, or your book. This is a person who only cares about this person and paying and taking your hard money and buying shiny shirts and jeans with, you know, threadbare in the sections where you know it didn't just happen. Those are like $400 jeans, right? And you're going to be lumped in with these crap books soulful truth telling turn the tide ready to pull the retirement trigger fertility fuel i mean look at how long these things are like oh look at this one personal finance that doesn't suck a five-step guide to quit budgeting start wealth building and get the most from your money <sighs> like what is it is it um read my titles it's just this is all just terrible if you really want to buy a book there's a good book here and I'll show you how she manipulates about the uh, rankings. Let me show you. I saw this the other day. Um, where is it? Uh, yeah, look here. 
my book is the 479th biggest seller in uh, human computer interaction. Mm hmm. That's kind of weird, right? I mean, that sounds okay. But then you look, oh, where is it overall? 2,179,851. That's, I'm in there with the, with the, uh, the scum of the earth. Uh, same thing. Here, here's your kid's uh, book. By the way, the kid that she exploits because her son is um, under 13. That's by Google's own policy. You're not allowed to even have a Google account under 13. Here it is. Hey, ah, Jesse, you poor guy. He's a great kid, though. But uh, hopefully he can get out from under his mother's uh, poisonous shadow. But you see this guy, Michael Buckley? That happened to be a YouTuber that Jesse liked. He, he's a middle of the road, not even really huge, famous YouTuber. He just does Minecraft videos. One of those guys. She gave him a chunk of money, and uh, they made some videos and other crap. And if you look at the cover, <laughs> if you read her website, she will pretty much shit talk the New York Times bestsellers list twice right in a row yet uh, the cover on this book says forward by uh new york times best-selling author blah 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 uh, that's kind of funny right it's um what do you want angela is it is it a, a curated op opinion piece like you said or you know is, is it a big enough deal to put on the top cover of your book do you even know what that section is called angela no like look at these covers they're just crap especially the titles look at this thing look at this thing what? i you're like really you go to harper collins and you're like oh what books do they have hmm. the other woman all these beautiful strangers summer wives how to be famous secret garden you know, you know stuff you could say in in under one breath um and we go on the flip side and this is all you know this is literally she's failing to try to game the system because she somehow thinks the more uh, words a title has, the more likely people are going to buy it. It's just the opposite. You don't want a book with a long title because are you going to be around the water cooler going, Hey, Jen, did you read help? My kid wants to become a YouTuber. Your child can learn life skills such as resilience, consistency, networking, financial literacy, and more while having a ton of fun creating online videos. No, I tell you, over the weekend, I picked up help. My kid wants to become a YouTuber. Your child can learn life skills such as resilience, consistency, networking, financial literacy, and more while having a ton of fun creating online videos. And I happen to think it was really good. I, I can't even get through it. It's terrible. This would have been a good title. Act well, no, this would have been a shit title. That whole help series that people have been doing for 40 years now. Um... And why is that an issue anyway, right? Hell, my kid wants to become a YouTuber. Oh, what are you going to do? Are you going to hand feed him exactly what he should be doing? Or maybe he should learn skills on his own. <sighs> no, no, no. So, yeah. Let's go down to that. This is the number one best-seller book, right? Oh, my God. Look at this. Number 11 in books. Computers and technology. Web development and design. User-generated content. So, let's open that um, and let's look at just the books. Let's see, how do we do that? Um, this is a slow way. You can find it out through the advanced search, but uh, the number one bestseller, way back March 4th, 2017. So this is how she tries to game the system. Way back there. On, and when you go here, it's not there, right? The big thing is this right here. She has nothing that's much higher than uh, ninety to seventy thousand, except for one to I think one, two, maybe three, three sad, sad stories. I feel sorry for those women because they wrote a good book. There's a couple of good books that I saw that they were really good, and um, they're published under her, and that's literally going to screw you the rest of your life because um, it's kind of like um, when you go into politics. If you were a stripper and a prostitute to make 
ends meet before that bid for the Senate, eventually, while you're going for it, you're going to be outed about that. And that doesn't look good. Publishers don't like this either. These are called vanity presses. She's a vanity press. She's not even that because she doesn't even talk about publishing a book. Um, she's just an author mill. Indiscriminately publishes people. Yeah, she likes to make you think you're rare. No, you're not. Uh, you're rare if you actually give her money. That's the thing. I can't tell you how many comments I got about, I can't believe she wants it that much money. And uh, for the quality that she provides, it's just crap. Anyway, I'm going to have a more in-depth story coming down the, well, not story, more in-depth research coming down the, the pipeline. I might split it up. I just, I felt like I really just, I started on this because I, I felt like a, a, a just give it a shot and then it just the bile came up and uh, it just fills me with disgust like just doing this right now is disgusting to me that's why i only got the first two pages of her website because she is a disgusting person and she makes money in a disgusting way by hurting other people and uh, she needs to be stopped anyway remember folks you are the company that you keep try to keep good people as your company, good things will always happen to you. You keep people like her, you're just going to be uh, on your fourth and fifth mortgage. Angela Loria, I'm not going to rest until you're shut down. And we are getting ready to work on this. We are diving deeper. And we are getting the real truth about who you are. We have contacted past roommates. We have contacted past husbands. We have contacted all sorts of people. And the common thing seems to be, you're a horrible person. And uh, thank you for that. It's not so easy to get references, uh, talk to people from your past, but yeah. You have no actual doctorate. You have no dissertation about shit. You are shit. You have nothing but your lies and your delusions. And I really wish you would get help. Talk to you folks later. Stay away from this cancer. <laughs>